Well, hello there. Thanks for stopping by. This is one of them vlog thingies about that one time I built a bike for Granduro back in 2018. Granduro is a gravel bike event, and if you know anything about BTR, we don't make it gravel bikes. So it's a bit weird that we were invited to go there, but we were. So we made a plus size Ranger. Granduro is like a gravel bike event, I guess. Like it's it's a race, but it's not a race. It's meant to be a bit of fun. Um, it's more about the journey than, than your race time at the end of it. Uh, and every year, four frame builders, bike companies are invited to, to build their interpretation of the best grind Euro bike. So back in 2018, we were one of those builders, Tam and I, and we built a plus size Ranger. It was the first one that we built. We've been planning it for a while, uh, but this was a good excuse to, to finally build one. So. Um, yeah, this video is about that. We went from um, design concept to finished bike with a custom made frame bag in about three weeks. It was uh, pretty hench, got pretty stressful. So yeah, this video is about that. Hope you enjoy it. Our Ranger is usually used for enduro sort of heavy hitting riding, whereas this plus size Ranger is more for like more trail with a bit of like bike packing adventure thrown in there for good measure. And because it's uh, intended for slightly lighter use, we can use the thinner tubing that Columbus supply. Currently they don't produce tubing that we would use on the regular Ranger. of it tacked together just uh, needs the seat stays going in now but they need to be bent because at the moment they're just straight tubes and if they go in there there won't be enough space for the old tire to fit uh, we ordered some bending tools off of Stakesy's but apparently they forgot to order them from their supplier which you know hopefully they will get it sorted and be able to get it to a sort of middle of next week and then that means that we can't send the frame off to Fat Creations until obviously that's done. Um, and he's super busy at the moment as well. He's only just able to squeeze us in. And then with those delays, you know, it's putting real strain on, uh, on him and also us trying to get it, you know, built and ready for getting it to Grand Giro. But you know, 
these things are sent to try us. It'll all work out. We'll get there in the end. I hope. Right, today is 29th of June, Friday. Exactly two weeks before Grand Giro. Frame has got to a standstill. Frame build's got to a standstill. You can see there, hanging up without the seat stays on. What's this then? Is this the bending tools? Useful tools could be, fingers crossed, turned up early. Whee! Thank you very much, Stakesies. Got them here just in time. Tam's going to spend the day today making bits and bobs for this so that we can, you know, mount it all and then bend the tubes. <laughs> Time. Tam's been in all weekend, all day yesterday since 7 o'clock this morning trying to get that tube bender sorted. It's pretty much nearly finished now, he's just got a couple of bits to do. Once that's done we'll bend a couple of test pieces, make sure it's all good. And then bend the final pieces, then it's just notching, notching the, like the top end of them so that it can join to the back of the seat tube. And then we can like fit them into the frame. Hopefully everything goes alright, we'll see how we go. Thing, Are you nervous, Sam? Slightly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Got excited a bit too fast. Bent it the wrong side of the line. Tam's, Tam's not happy. In the bin. It was so super lucky that Biosl Academy had a couple of these still in stock, so we managed to bend them on the right side of the line this time. And disaster averted. So I just need to notch them up now, and then it's welded up. Got my safety specs on, so I'm just about to notch the hole in the seat stays. There are no more spares of these. I've checked. So, fingers crossed, everything goes to plan. It has to get to paint today as well, so notch these up, weld it up, drive it two hours south to Fat Creations. Yes, no major disasters. Woo. Looking pretty sweet. Now we just got to try them out in the bike. You might me this time, so I'll just the lines good. Head back to Melk Kit about the frame bag. They were like just drill holes in it wherever you want and they'll work around it. So that's what we're doing. Gonna have to cut the top tube out though because I can't get in there with the drill. So see there it is, the frame with no top tube. The reason we had to cut it out was just because of how close the holes are to the end. There just wasn't enough space between the down tube and the top tube to be able to get a drill in there. Could have done those three in the frame but it's that one there. That one, that little bugger there, couldn't get the drill in to get it. Top tube's back in, you wouldn't even know the difference. It's quarter past three on Monday afternoon. I was hoping to have this finished up by lunchtime and then on the road down to paint. But alas, it's quarter past three in the afternoon and I've only just finished tacking. Just got the brake mount in. 
Then we've got to weld it up. And then we've still got seat clamp, cable guides and head tube ring to go on. It's going to be a late night. Tiny bit of a gap there. So just tap it in. Gaps make it real difficult when TIG welding, it'll just try and burn a hole, so just tap them in and makes the welding a load easier. Last little bit, this side and the other side. I lied actually, there's a bit there to do. Just little bits here to do, but leave them open until the cable guides are on. Hey there with the frame. Pretty much finished chasing and facing all the orifices. Just need to cut the seat tube slot and do a bit of alignment. So we're just off to the surface plate now to do that. Take it out there. This is it, this is the surface plate. Is bang on. Look at that. Couldn't really get much better than that. No gap, no gap. So like at the front here. Yeah. Pretty much bang on as well. Tiny little gap down the bottom. There. Perfect, yo. Don't even have to touch it. Boom. Just cut the seat tube slot and then time to take the paint. Easy as pie. Have a seat tube slot. Very neat and tidy, eh? Okay? So here we are, seven o'clock Monday night. All done. Just need to do the four hour round trip down to Fat Creations paint shop. Probably not going to do it tonight. Got a wife and kid to go home to. But look at this thing, what a beauty! Hey. frame bag mounts also they're going to double up as cable guide mounts as well get the screw in type cable mounts got the two bottle cages they're also going to double up double up as frame bag mounts and then an extra frame bag mount at the front there internal routing for the dropper that runs all the way through the down tube and then pops out the bottom of the seat tube in there which you can see it doesn't come in the bottom bracket anywhere integrated seat clamp Chain ring clearance. Tapered head tube with the reinforcement ring on the bottom. Boom. So, 
Uh, I would say next time you see the frame it will be fully painted because you'll probably see it when I drop it off to Fat Creations. But um, yeah, next time you see it, it's going to be painted. So it's Tuesday morning, just about to leave to go to Fat Creations. Frames in the back there. The window on the wife's car busted as well. And the bits that hold it up snapped. Just got here to Fat Creations. Long drive, nearly fell asleep quite a few times. Got to get the handle on the outside. Open the door. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Hey. How are you? Alright. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Well, I look forward to getting on with this. Sweet. What is it about driving that makes you want to go to sleep? Good job I got my coffee. Just off to pick the frame up from Fat Creations. Traffic jam! Love it! excitement of picking the frame up yesterday, I forgot to film it. That's a beautiful paint job, isn't it? It's pretty nuts, eh? Shit! And I'll tell you what, that is shit hot. Where did you get that screen? Fat Creations, these guys here. build little pre-unboxing session thanks to Bicycle Academy for sorting it all out. Do you like my purple helmet? So I've just discovered a slight issue we've ordered the wrong bottom bracket for it. See that's a, a GXP bottom bracket this is BB30. Whoops getting pictures taken of the bike tomorrow hopefully we can get one delivered back it's like it's nearly five o'clock probably won't be able to get one delivered for tomorrow will we yeah quarter past four maybe we might be we might be there we might be okay a bit stressful time's on the computer now ordering a new one You can never trust another man's rim tape. Is it the right one? Oh, yes. Knew it was the right one because the axle was on the drive side crank. Those ones are on the non drive side. So when I put the bottom bracket in first, I was like, have I put the bottom bracket in the wrong way? I honestly thought it was my cock up. And then the cranks were wrong. But super rad, they managed to source out some cranks in like literally a day. <laughs> Mantle a Grand Giro bike from last year to get the headset out because it hasn't turned up in the post yet. Silver, which is what we wanted, but I'm pretty gutted that the King's all dirty. Rubbish. Cleaned up pretty nice. It's not perfect, but much better than it was. One problem though. Yes, that is the crown race from the Chris King headset but it's off an inch and a quarter fork you see we need inch and a half so yeah, that diamond here is bigger than that one we'll bodge it though we are the king of the bodges yeah we'll just chuck that one on
Lakers. Woo! Upside down, why didn't you say anything? Do you reckon we should cut the cables down or leave them like this? Take it off me, take the dance floor, and let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. I'm sure, if anyone from Alpha watches this, they just go, ah. Oh. What? Listen to how loud this hub is. We're gonna hear you coming with that one, that's for sure. Massive rush finishing the bike off to get pictures taken of it. Adam's here already. You can see the state of the workshop. Shit everywhere. Look at it. Something I kicked because I was getting really stressed. The pictures are going down. Mad rush getting some frame saver on. Truck bus leaves in about five seconds. We haven't got half of it on yet. Goes on pretty nice this frame saver stuff. Well good that they give you little kits as well. Works pretty good. Little instructions as well as to which bits is which. Tidy. So you descend after stage three to a cafe, really cool cyclist cafe. I may have had too many tonics cakes. And the climb back up to link stage three and four has been horrendous. It's been so hard. I'm absolutely cooking. Well, that ends a bit abruptly, doesn't it? Oh well, I'll know for next time. Can't thank Basel Academy enough for sorting all that out, <clears throat> giving us the opportunity to build a bike for an event like that. It's a massive privilege. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.